Alrighty guys, I am super excited for today's video. I'm doing a little bit of pre-filming, not much. It is Sunday at midnight. And Tuesday, the day you guys are seeing this, so today when you're watching it, is my birthday. So if you guys wanna wish me some happy birthdays in the comments, it's greatly appreciated. This is, I don't know if it's gonna be a new tradition or not, but this is what I posted last year on my birthday. And it is my birthday gift from my sister-in-law. Um, she always shops early and gives me my gift a little bit early. So last year it ended up being my birthday video. And this year it's being my birthday video. Figured it's kind of fitting. So uh, I will say when she presented it to me, it was a lot cuter. I did already open it. If you guys want to see me open it, like first impressions, me like physically like unwrapping the gifts inside of here. Um, I did a quick thing of that over on my vlog. It's not up yet. I'm a little behind on the vlog, but I'm slowly catching up. You, my Mac's literally on the side of me. I have been editing a vlog all night. I finally got crap cut to download on my Mac, and now I am smooth sailing from here on out. So you guys should be seeing vlogs every Friday and Saturday for the next few weeks so I can finally play catch-up before I go back to work. Um, but... I so, totally just got distracted. But it is a very quick little five-minute clip because, you know, my vlogs are long. I didn't want to make it super long. So I figured I would do a dedicated video to go into more detail about the beautiful things in here. So she presented it in this gorgeous basket. She tends to do that. She loves making gift baskets. Last year it was on a, <coughs> a serving tray, which I still have and use all the time on my dining room table. So the first thing she gave me were these two wicked cute t-shirts she had them all rolled up with little pink bow she went above uh, she went above and beyond the first one i am absolutely obsessed with i am so glad she got this for me i literally saw a shirt super similar to this on an etsy page and i was gonna buy it and i was gonna definitely pay like you know over 40 dollars because etsy pages aren't cheap supporting small business sometimes aren't cheap um but they didn't carry my size. So I had no choice. I couldn't get it. And I remember going on Amazon. And you guys know I always try to support small business. But once in a while I think about my pocket. And I said let me see if I can find something on Amazon in plus size. And I could not find it when I looked at the time. I typed in like girly pickle bow t-shirt. And nothing came up. But she was able to find it. I know she watches my videos. So she probably overheard me talking about it. And she knows I'm obsessed with pickles. Um, it's not my background right now. But on my phone for a long time. I had picky gir pickle girlies rise. And it was all different versions of pickles. Like pickle chips, pickle spears, fried pickles. All over the background on my phone. But it is this nice oversized 6X Amazon tee. I will link it down below. Because I, um, I can do Amazon links. It is affiliate. So I do make a small percentage. But it doesn't cost you guys anything. It just supports the channel. And it's these really cute jars of pickles with bows on it like how stinking adorable i am in the process of decluttering and organizing clothes and i literally just have like drawers of graphic tees and i am obsessed and this other one she got me is super duper cute again it's a nice oversized 6x and it says half teacher half coffee and it's an iced coffee cup with a smiley face obsessed will definitely be wearing this one to work Again, I'll link it down below if you have any teacher friends you want to give some gifts to. Then, th she had these two picture frames in the front. And not only are they gorgeous picture frames, but she went above and beyond and put things inside of them. So, it's not pictures. It's so that I think she gave me the option if I wanted to keep what was in here or if I want to add my own picture, of course. But I love I can use it right as it is right now. And this one, she put a quote. And how beautiful. It looks almost like pink piped frosting. I'm obsessed. And it says, I live in two worlds. One is a world of books, Rory Gilmore. I, she knows me so well because I am a huge Gilmore Girls fan. It's one of my all-time favorite TV shows. I absolutely love this. This is going to look so, so cute on my bookshelves. And then the other one is this really cute pink and orange checkered print that I've been obsessed with lately. I literally have a cardigan that has pink and orange checkered print. And it's literally a black and white image of a girl holding a coffee cup and a book obsessed this is so cute to put on my bookshelves i can't wait to organize my bookshelves so i can start filming in front of them again they're just a hot mess right now and this was i even threw the pink bow in here so you guys could see this is how she this is what she wrapped my shirts in all rolled up so cute then she gave me two of these little mini picture frames they do have the little like leg to stick them up again these might look cute just like on my bookshelves or my bedroom whatever and one of them says it's like the really popular like cake symbol right now and it with the cherries on top and it says leo i am a leo 
And then this one says, it's a good day. And it's like a bowl of cereal. Super cute. Then she actually handmade, I don't even think Joe saw this. She handmade me two bookmarks with tassel because she knows I like it with the tassel. And one is all pictures of my two nephews. How beautiful. Do you see this, Joe? And the other one is pictures of me and Joe. Look, you didn't even get to see this. That was part of the birthday gift that Britt made me. Then she gave me a whole package filled with stickers because she knows I love stickers. And they're all like, um, I won't go through all of them. I'll be here forever. But they are all um, book themed. So like hot girls read books. This one is a stack of all different book tropes. This one is like a book open with like florals fueled by smut and coffee, a book stack with flowers, just amazing selection of stickers. Literally says there's 110 of them. So I can't wait to go through that. Then she got me this notebook and it says busy being extra. That's definitely me. And then this is the little miss girl. I'm sure you guys have seen, um, her um a lot of people make memes with her like on instagram it'll say little miss anxious or little miss buys too many books uh even though her tbr is huge you know like things like that um super cute and i love lined notebook papers you guys know i am constantly making to-do lists whether it's for school work youtube your girl is busy so little notebooks come in handy for sure then she got me two gg and bow bookmarks you guys know how obsessed I am with Gigi and Bo. I will link her down below. It's a small business I love to support. And it's Cats in the Garden. How gorgeous. I do think I own these. That is the one problem because I buy Gigi and Bo way more than I should. But it's A-OK. -okay. It's A-OK. -okay. And then we got the tea on the stacks. Can always share the ones I got with some other friends. No big deal. Then she got me a book sleeve. And it's these beautiful pink roses, obsessed, and it has the button. You guys know I love book sleeves that have the button to close. And this is just, if you've never had a book sleeve, it's just extra protection for your books. If you're someone like me who takes a book everywhere you go, you just slide a book in there. And then this way you don't have to worry about the pages creasing or something like smushing it. And it does help it out a little bit if you spill something. Um, perfect to keep in your purse, backpack, um... I know Charmaine even had, she would put a book in her lunchbox for work. So she liked having a book sleeve to keep it extra protected because she would read on her lunch break, which is so smart. And I love, I've been super into like the pink girly bows and flowers. Then she got me two books and she actually wrapped them like the blind date with the book, like the ones that me and um, Charmaine do in our book advent calendars. And she, I even put the wrapping paper in here because I wanted you guys to see. Like this beautiful pink floral wrapping paper. See how it has all the flaps? She put a bunch of stickers in the flaps and those bookmarks in the flaps. And then she even like closed it with a sticker. So like this one says, read what makes you happy. And there is a bunch of loose stickers here at the bottom because all these stickers were like tucked in my little flaps when these were wrapped. So the first one is not in love by Allie Hazelwood I love as Allie Hazelwood I actually discovered her because of my sister-in-law she highly recommended her because she loved um love hypothesis it's like one of her favorite books I read it loved it and now I like want Allie Hazelwood is one of those that's like an instant buy for me when I see this author I always want to buy everything she writes and this is one of her newer ones and I love that it's stem representation you guys know I love you know I was a women's studies major in college. I believe women can do anything men can do. So I love that it's a woman dominating a man's field. So this was one of the books. And then the other one, Christina Lauren is definitely an auto buy author for me. I freaking love Christina Lauren. And this book is Tangled in You. This is part of the meant to be novel series. It's basically all different fairy tale retellings i eventually want the entire collection there's quite a bit of them i gotta do a little bit of research they first started coming out like three or four years ago um because each book is by a different author so the first one i believe that came out was um if the shoe fits it was by julie murphy who i love she's a plus size author writes about plus size characters and it was a story it was a retelling of um 
Cinderella, get it, if the shoe fits. And it had a more modern twist and she enters a dating competition as a plus size woman. It was such a good, good book, I loved it. Um, I own um, the one that's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. I own the one that's a retelling of The Little Mermaid. And now I own the retelling of Rapunzel, as you can see, obviously tangled up in you. Um, I got it. Like I said, I do have to do a little bit of research, see how many there are, if they're all out. I don't think they are. I think it's going to be a little bit of a process because it is all different authors. And there's a lot of fairy tales out there. But if you like fairy tales retellings, definitely look into the to be novels. And then she also got me this little disco ball she knows how into disco balls i've been lately and it has the little thing to hold a photo this is gonna look amazing on my bookshelves i literally have a pink mushroom disco ball like it's literally shaped like a mushroom but it's this pink f glass fleck disco ball look to it that is gonna look so good paired with that and then of course we have a card uh, i didn't even show the card in the video because i was just trying to get through quick and again it's a little disco ball because i had been obsessed and it just says, hope your birthday is all sparkly. Happy birthday. And I always say my sister-in-law, because I know she's the one that obviously shops for it and makes that extra effort. But of course, it's from my brother as well um, and my nephews. It's a joint present. So thank you, Britt, Brandon, Ben, and baby Brandon. And then the last two big things in here. Yeah, I think that's everything. Yep, it's just the shreds, some more loose stickers. Is this stack of folders, which I am obsessed with. It is the bow print. There is a bunch here and it even comes with the labels. It says there is nine file folders, three of each design. So it's three blue, two, three green and three pink. And I'm not sure if I wanna bring these to work and organize my work stuff or keep these at home to organize home stuff, we shall see. And then I got this gorgeous planner. So this is the front of it. I did just order my teacher planner. I do like to order one specifically. Um, it has like grade book pages in it. It has a like communication log in it. It's like really beneficial for teachers. Um, but this one is gonna be the one I keep at home. I always like to have one for content creation and like my personal doctor's appointments and all those things. So I do keep that separate. My teacher one stays at the school and I just put like my meetings for work and work things. So this is going to be my home one and I love it. This cover, I'm sure it's not like real leather obviously, but it has that feel to it. It's like textured almost. And again, it's that pink and orange loaded with the really cute smiley faces. The back is the same thing. It's super duper cute. I am literally obsessed with it. And it's just, you know, your regular standard planner. It has the months. It has the weekly spreads. And then it always seems impossible until it's done. And it has this folder option where I can tuck things, which is really helpful. So I'm excited that I don't have to go out and buy a planner because mine literally just ended in August. Yeah, so I, I usually get the 17-month one, so this is perfect. It'll be from August 2024 to December of 2025. Um, when the teacher one comes in, I do plan on showing you guys a video. My mom is getting me something, so I'll show you guys a video of what my mom gets. And that's about it. Joe's mom usually gets me a car. Joe usually just pays for our dinners and stuff like that because we are supposed to leave on a trip tomorrow. Uh, let's hope. Um, I haven't officially booked it yet. It's always a little last minute with us. The weather's, the weather's honestly been really awful over here. It was so, so hot in July, like boiling in July. And of course I had to work. And then I got out of work in August and it has been rainy and like not that. I'm literally wearing a long sleeve sweater right now, guys. It has been in the 70s here. It literally feels like fall. Yeah, you get to go to the pool the other day. I, yeah, we had a birthday party and it was a house that had a pool and we didn't even go in because we were cold. So, and I wanted to do was a beach trip. Last year, we ended up changing a last minute and did Mohegan Sun instead. So, I'm going to look at, um, like, weathers tomorrow and figure it out. And we're going to book it in the morning. Um, you guys will know because I'll film it for the vlog. Um, but you guys have seen this, like I said, on my actual birthday on Tuesday. Hopefully, I'm on a trip somewhere and not sitting my ass at home. Wish me happy birthday um, if you would like in the comments. I'm putting this out there, but please do not feel obligated. I do always link my Amazon wish list. If you guys do want to get anything for my birthday, it's I posted that wish. It's in every single video. It's always in my description box. I, I included that link because you guys actually asked for it. You were like, oh, in case we ever want to send you something. Or sometimes people were like, we just like to look at your book list and see like what books you want. Like what books should we put on our list? So I actually have a few wish lists. I have my own personal wish list. I have a book specific wish list. And then I will share my teacher wish list. If you want to get me any Thing and support me i would rather you buy from my teacher wish list and help my classroom um you know a lot of things for teachers come out of our own pockets the school supplies us with 
things, but not everything, especially for a special needs classroom. I need a lot of Velcro and lamination sheets and adaptive scissors and very different things from like a normal classroom. So if you guys want to um, buy me anything from those lists they'll link down below I greatly appreciate it but it's not expected at all honestly you just watching the video commenting if you want to watch the ads that is helpful sharing me out those are all little things you guys can do for me I greatly greatly appreciate it um, thank you for another amazing year my goal was to hit another 500 almost every year by my birthday I grow 500 subscribers my goal in it was was it last year to hit, yeah my goal in August of 2022 was to hit 500 subscribers so I could finally have a community tab. Now you can have a community tab with like 100. But back in the day, you had to have 500. And I hit it really, literally, I think it was like the day before my birthday. Then last year, my goal was to hit 1,000 and be monetized. I hit the 1,000 right before my birthday. And then all I was, I was only missing like 60 hours to be monetized. So I knew I was going to hit it soon. And by September 1st, I was monetized. Um, and then here I am, my next birthday, and I said, oh, I hope I'll grow at least 500 more, and I'm at. Last time I checked, I'm at 1,512, so the channel is growing slowly but surely. Um, I see the comments. I appreciate you guys. I know I'm not the best at getting back at them. I have a whole video I need to film on, like, just a life up update. It'll probably be a What's Up Wednesday soon when I have some time to, like, sit down and think about what I want to talk about, but there's just a lot been going on, but I think things are finally getting better for sure um that is it for this video guys thank you so much for all the love and support i am so blessed to be getting another year older um i don't like the way my body feels sometimes but it is a blessing to get older um it truly truly is because we don't the, the opposite is not that great <laughs> um i used to joke around all the time like oh joe don't get old because he's younger than me and my you know my body aches and then i stopped saying that and i said no i want you to get old i want you to get old and gray and live a long beautiful life um and that's all I wish for all of us. A healthy, long, beautiful life. Be safe, guys.